exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. So is everybody in our viewing area in the clear right now? Almost, I think so. Uh, but as a rule, the National Weather Service waits about two tiers of counties before they issue the all clear. So there has to be a little more space between these and the counties that are still involved. I'll show you that in just one second. Here's what's still going on south of Sedalia, out toward Benton County, well to the south and east of us. But if we look at the metro with First Alert Live Radar, as has been the case for a while, we are clear. We're going to stay that way for a while and really not much redevelopment. Once the cold front moved through, that was it. And so finally we get to rest a little easier. It's just that one little sliver of counties down to the east and southeast of us, almost out of the viewing region. And those are the only ones that have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. So things are going to improve. But it has been an alert day. Mainly these are the counties involved. I would still think that uh, Saline, Sal Sal try again, Saline County, Pettis County, Warsaw, so that'd be Benton County and still one tier to the west, still underneath it, but that's not gonna last much longer. So I doubt if you're gonna make it to 10 o'clock. Anything west of there is already in the clear, and I am pretty confident that that's gonna happen as well. Speaking of which, there's the ballpark, and so should be a pretty nice evening for that with our CW camera. Severe risk, pretty much down, farther to the east and southeast by the ninth inning, cooler and dry conditions. According to First Alert Future Scan, there you see it, all those showers and thunderstorms exiting farther off to the east and southeast between six o'clock and eight o'clock in the next hour or so, pretty much clearing the region altogether. That will allow for us to have a little bit of fog in the morning. Otherwise, temperatures are going to fall from 72 at eight to 66 by 10. And by midnight, we'll be to 61 degrees with clearer skies and no mention of nighttime thunderstorms of any kind. Low temperatures by tomorrow morning, cooling down to the 50s. 53 Kansas City, 54 Leavenworth, cooler, calm. A northwest wind at around five to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, nice day compared to what we have today. Filtered sunshine, a high temperature of 76 with a partly to mostly sunny sky. Northeast winds at around five miles per hour across the area that continues. And looking at the entire region, all in the 70s, closer to normal for this time of year, Paola 77, Belton 77, Odessa 75 degrees, out toward Pettis and also out toward Benton County 75, shared by Sedalia and Warsaw, out toward Marshall, also 75 degrees, looking pretty nice. As we have hump day here, it looks like that should last for a little bit longer as things are going to calm down and stay much more comfortable heading into the exclusive first alert nine day forecast. We'll start at 53 degrees in the morning, afternoon high of 76. Some of us may get a little bit of fog if you got some rain today because of the light winds and the moisture on the ground again. Soil really hasn't dried out any time, so that's part of the problem. Thursday up to 82. Friday is another impact day because of a chance of morning thunderstorms scattered about a couple of showers as well, most likely in the morning, severe weather unlikely from that, and that's a good news. Then on Saturday, though, still a chance of some thunderstorms and a high of 77. Sunday, another impact day with morning thunderstorms as well and a high of 78. Memorial Day, chance of showers and thunderstorms, not all day, 77 the high then. Tuesday, 77. We stay in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees for a high. Morning temperatures close to 60 degrees, but at least by then we're going to dry out. Just unfortunately not in time for the holiday weekend as we're going to be dodging a few drops. Len.